in the morning, um, we open up the, net, uh, the nets with these poles and the marks indicate where each of the trammels needs to be spaced apart so that we set the nets open the exact same distance every morning. It, this is passive bird banding, and so we don't actively try and call the birds into the nets. We'll just leave these nets up the way they are and let the birds fly into them on their own. Uh, and then every 30 minutes we'll come by and check the nets and pull anything that gets caught uh, out and take it back to band it. So when the nets are frozen in the morning, we can't open them up until they've had time to dry out. And frozen nets are really dangerous to, to try and open because they can tear the net very easily. This is a golden crown sparrow and he's flown into one of our mist nets. And we want to back him out the way that they flew in. And so we'll put him into uh, what's called the bander's grip here so that we can uh, get access to his wings and its feet and slowly peel the net off of each of the part of the bird that's caught in the net. And so once we've extracted the bird out of the net, we'll stick it into a bird bag, which we'll use to transport it back to the banding station. I wish I could see it too. <laughs> okay, good. This is a white crowned sparrow. And you can see this one's already banded. Now this is, um, it's also the body grab or the bander's grip, um, but where you're, we're holding on primarily to the body of the bird uh, rather than to say the, the feet or the legs. So each of our nets has a specific net number and this one, 9385K, uh, is just one of the 14 nets that we have open today. And so every time we get a bird, we'll attach one of these clips to the bag that has the bird so we know exactly where it came from. All right, so I've got two birds here, and I'm gonna hang them up. so we can pick them up when we're ready to extract. So this is a recapture bird. It already has a band on it. Uh, so we banded this bird probably just a week or two ago. It's a white crowned sparrow, but you can see it has a brown and tan crown. So this means this is a hatch year bird. It was hatched out this year somewhere up north and migrated uh, down here for the winter. Now, do it real slowly so it it doesn't get crimped or anything and I don't have to do it over again. GSP is Golden Crown Sparrow. I'll look at the crown pattern here. Um, this is the least defined crown pattern, CR1, which has some correlation to age, but it also has correlation to the time of year, so I don't use it for aging. I get find a bare spot here on the top of the skull oh. and I could look and see that there's a line here between this speckled white fully ossified skull and the unossified skull right above it. So this tells me that the bird is not, the skull is not fully ossified so it was born this year, it's a hatching year bird. So to weigh these guys, we take these uh, little canisters and stick them on the scale. And then just slide the bird into the canister and stick it upside down to get the weight. And then you can see the weight registers down here. I've teared it so it, it automatically subtracts the weight of the cup. So that's the weight of the bird itself, about 22.6 grams. I see. And then when we're done, we just slowly slide the bird out of the cup and back into the bandage grip. And then we record the data, 22.6. So we let them go close to the ground because if they can't or don't fly away for any reason, we'll want okay. them to... Okay, got it. Nope, oh, there he goes.